Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kimberly, and today, so today is gonna be a hard video to film. Um, just because I have a couple topics I kind of want to go over and talk about. So, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Just for y'all to be updated with my life and what's going on in my life and how I'm feeling. So, yeah. So, yeah, so. But I'm currently in the bathroom. The pink hair is actually like coming out a little bit. So, it's not as pink as it used to be. But that's not the topic, the topics I want to talk about. So, I'm going to be talking about two topics and... I might get emotional I don't know what's gonna go downtown but yeah so the first topic is I am starting to work out more than I usually do maybe I usually maybe work out once a week and because I don't really got time for all that just but now I'm going to be making time for all that because I just don't like the way that my body looks. Hold on, I'll be right back. There's someone on my door. Okay, I'm back. But so I, like I was saying, I'm going to be starting to work out more than once a week. I think maybe like every day. At least I'm going to try to. There's like no promises that I will be working out every day. Um, because I kind of already work out every other day. So, it's like no like biggie there because I work out almost every other day because I got, I take PE. So, we got to work out in PE. So, but, um... I'm going to be working out a lot more just because I feel insecure about my body. Um, I don't like the way I look. Um, it's got to a point where I didn't want to be here because of what my body looks like. It's got to a point where I feel like I'm useless. I feel like I can't really do anything and to be honest that's really sad for me I used to work out every day I used to when I was younger I used to work out every day I used to do gymnastics I used to do dance horseback riding um, I used to do taekwondo and um, Taekwondo wasn't my, really my thing, so I just quit after two months. But, like, I still learned some stuff or whatever. But, like, I was so active when I was younger. And I haven't been as active the last almost five years now. Um, so, it's sad for me to say that I need to actually work on myself and worry about my body because I haven't been worrying about my body like it's sad that I'm admitting it but it's true like yeah I'm I'm washing my body like I'm taking care of my body like that way but, like I'm not exercising or eating proper like I'm eating a lot of like fast food junk food things that m could make me gain weight and that's what i am not really liking it's hard for me because i do stress eat a lot with me stress eating is a really complicated situation because i go through so much in my life and it's sad and no one should be going through as much as i do or anybody else because there is no point going through so much in life. But God puts you through what he thinks you can handle. So he only puts you through stuff that you can handle. And that you can take. 
just because he thinks you can handle it. So I know that God is putting me through all these stress moments, hard times for a reason. I might not know it right now, but like I will figure it out later. But, you know, it's hard. But so I've been really insecure about my body. A lot of people are commenting on my post on Instagram, on, you know, Snapchat, TikTok, all of that shebang, all that social media stuff, and it's just got to me, I guess you could say. Usually hate comments don't really get to me because I feel like I know how to handle them. But at an extent, I feel like these people are right about my body. Um, I haven't felt happy in my own body. It's sad, but it's, it's okay because I'm moving forward and I, I think I need to find who I am in my own body before like i pursue like a relationship or something like that yes i'm in a happy relationship now and i'm thankful for him because he's he's been, he's been there for me and he won't stop being there for me he'll always be there for me and that's what like i'm so thankful for because there's some people in this world that like won't give two fucks about you and that's okay. Like, you might mean nothing to them. So if you're watching this video right now, you mean the world to me. Like, I love all you guys that are watching this video at this moment. I love your support. Even if you don't show me support, I love the support. And I even love my haters. Like... I just going through too much and I started this journey with y'all to share my story, to share the events I'm going through, not to make y'all feel sorry for me, not for y'all to be like, oh, I'm sorry for this girl, I need to help her. No, I didn't want y'all to do that. Yeah, thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the support. I don't want y'all feel sorry for me. I'm doing everything I do for a reason. I want to put my story out there. So if someone feels down, they can just look up to me. Like they can look me up and cherish that they might have a better life or that they I could help them with something, you know? I'm not saying I'm like, yeah, there might be, I'm trying to say it's like, somebody might be out there going through a lot worse than me. And I encourage them to tell their story as much as I do. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult to put your story out there. And that's one thing that I've been actually trying to work on because talking about my past is hard. I am going to say that. But talking to y'all isn't that hard. I feel like y'all have been there for me. Like y'all understand me, you know? I'm just not that type of teen girl that's 18 years old. That's going to make my past ruin my life. I still have a whole future ahead of me. I still have a whole life ahead of me as well. And because of that, I am thankful. I might not wake up tomorrow. You know? I might just not ever wake up. I might wake up. Tomorrow is not a promise. You got to cherish the moment you're in every single day. 
Somebody's told me before, you need to cherish your loved ones before you lose them and then start cherishing them. That goes pretty hard for me because I don't never really had those cherishing moments with anybody. I never knew that people could be there for me. I never knew how much people loved me until like four years ago. I found people that loved me for me and that doesn't like I don't have to act like someone different. I can act like myself around them. And that's what I like. I, you shouldn't be around a crowd of friends, associates, family, and don't and act like a whole different person. You should just be yourself. If they don't love you for you, then they don't love you. Things go different. Things go hard. But we need to cherish them. Yeah, we might be going through a whole bunch of stuff. But we can't always help it, can we? You know, one day, you'll come back to this video and say, I wish I listened to her. Thank God I know her, you know? I, f I might feel bad for her, her at an extent, but like, she's right, you know? Life doesn't always go as planned. At five years old, I thought I was gonna be on TV already. Here, me, here's me at 18 years old, still never been on TV, besides once. But that's not the point. The point is, maybe God is not ready for me to pursue that career just yet. Maybe He wants me to pursue a different career at this moment, and then maybe go back to that career. Things aren't always guaranteed. But we need to realize that. We need to realize who we are. The things that God wants us to pursue. We can't just do things to make other people happy. Like that's not what we are. Our parents might have a path for us and we might have a different We, my lights aren't censored in my bedroom, I'm sorry. And we might have a different path for ourselves. You should go with your path, not what your parents want. They're still going to love you no matter what. It just breaks my heart that people go for what their parents want, you know, to make their parents happy. But what makes you happy? You need to go through what makes you happy. Do what you deserve if you make a mistake you make a mistake and you learn from it see my parents have a career path that they want me to do and i have my own career path i want to do i'm going to pursue my career path they're going to be happy for me no matter what but i can't be happy make them happy and be happy myself going with their career path if you can do that, I'm proud. Like, I'm proud of you that you can do that. But a lot of people can't do that. Because my parents want me to be a plumber. Like, what the fuck? What? No, that's not what I'm doing. I want to be an actress. And I'm going to pursue that career. And because of that, I think I found who I am. Because I'm not having my parents control every move I make. Okay, if you're still like 13, 11 years old, please still listen to your parents. But if you're like more like my age, your parents are not always going to be there for you anymore. Like you're going to move out. You're going to go to college. Like things are going to be different. And, you know, we need to realize that. Not all the time can you be different people. Especially your family, your parents, your family have more than one children. They can't always be there for you. See, my mom has me, my three older sisters, and my baby sister. So she has five kids. And it's a lot to handle. But like, 
it's hard for her. Like, it's gonna be hard because once I move out, she ha only has a three-year-old in the house. She doesn't have nobody else to help her besides my granny. And it's hard, it's gonna be hard thinking about it for her because I, I'm i there to play with my sister. I'm there to help her. I've held my mom in a lot of certain circumstances that like are unforgettable I was there for her during her darkest moments she was there for me for my darkest moments but like sometimes you just need to move forward it's okay to be you and I hope you learned from this video to be you just to be you Yes, I might feel insecure about my body, but I'm going to work on myself and figure out how I will feel, feel more comfortable in my own body. Because I need to be happy. I don't want other people to be happy for me. I want to be happy for myself. What makes me happy. Do what makes you happy. Don't be there to make other people happy. Do whatever makes you happy. And that's 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 it. It as long as you're happy, you can accomplish anything. Like anything. Like anything. <laughs> but thanks for watching this YouTube video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. If that doesn't work, you can always go to my Instagram. My DMs are always open. I respond to every. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. And yes, I will be doing move out videos if y'all want some. Um, but the next time I move out is when I go to college. So which is in like a year. Not really, like 10 months. <laughs> so I need to stop. I need to start applying. But thanks for watching and I hope you learned a lot. And I love all y'all. If y'all ever need to talk, I'm here. Like, I, oh, I have open arms. So, I love y'all, y'all. And even if y'all don't subscribe, I'm still here for y'all. Like, I could really care less if you subscribe. I just want to be there for y'all. And sh show you love. And show you what you really deserve. Tell me y'all's story. I want to hear y'all's story.